Welcome to the Amazing Car News Channel. The Genesis luxury brand continues to come into its own. Born from a mid-size sedan initially marketed under its parent company's banner, the 2008 Hyundai Genesis, the brand branched out on its own in 2016, initially with the G80, a carryover second-generation Hyundai Genesis, and then the G90, which replaced the Hyundai Equus full-size luxury car. Since then, the G70 Sport sedan appeared, as did two SUVs, the GV80 and the smaller GV70, which just won Motor Trend's 2022 SUV of the Year award, while the G90 made do with a mild visual update for 2020. Now, for 2023, it's getting a whole redesign. A big one. So far all we really have are images of the new G90 that were released in Korea. The US market model should look almost exactly the same, and that's a very good thing. Whereas the current G90 wears a sort of adapted take on Genesis's latest design language over the pre-2020 G90's boxy form, this new version fully commits to the twin slat headlights, five-sided shield-shaped grille, intricate wheel sculpting, and gently arcing body creases that debuted on the GV80 and GV70 SUVs in the latest G80 sedan. In fact, the new G90 leapfrogs its stablemates in taking Genesis-style vision to its nadir. The cat eye like headlights wrap around nearly the entire front end, broken up by the wheel wells and picking up on the front fenders before terminating at the leading edge of the front door. There is no missing that grille, either, but we'd need to see it in real life to gauge whether it's glam or gauche. The wheels, at least those pictured here, are deliciously technical in appearance, with an angular spoke design that seems to complement the mesh filling the grille and full width the lower intake. Most surprising? How achingly elegant the rest of the 2023 G90 is. Sure, we want to peep that grill in person, but in photos it's nearly overshadowed by the clean surfaces, subtle curves, and uncommonly restrained detailing all over the body. The front fenders flow rearward and form a strong shoulder midway through the rear doors, the surface turning upward to give the rear fenders visual muscle. The tail is defined by a few crisp horizontal elements, including a full-width thin taillight section, a secondary light strip below that, and a lower section that picks up a dark trim strip that runs along the body sides to break up the G90's visual height. Thank for watching.